Hi, everybody. Um, so this is the book corner. I'm back. So, um, yeah. I am going to be doing a rant about, about the state of romance books. So, uh, for people that don't know, which is probably a lot, um, I am, I love romance books. I really do. They have some of the most interesting uh, storylines that you could possibly even begin to imagine. They got they they have a lot of a lot of warmth to them. They're really nice. I know a little ladies like their Harlequin. Yeah, little ladies love their Harlequin. Um, and when that guy ripped out the entire ebook system. This this eighty year old lady was like, "Where am I going to get my steamy romance books at?" I, you know, she's stuck in a wheelchair for Pete's sake. Like, why did you do that to a little old lady? I, I don't understand that. I'm I'm still thinking about this for a lot for like the last like month or so. It's like, why would you do this to elderly women? Like, they want their smut too. Give them their smut. They want the good smut, not the smut I've been seeing lately. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Little ladies need their good smut, cause uh, they have no husband anymore, which is sad. Um. So, anyways, so for people that don't know, uh, romance books have been around for a very, very long time. Um, the most, the mo, the one company that I'm always reminded of in the field of romance books is Harlequin, and I know I've mentioned that name a couple of times. Harley Quinn is literally the top tier romance book publishing company. And you have to know how to write yourself some smut to be a Harley Quinn romance author. Yeah, you had to know how to write your smut. Um, and they have way different variety of types of books. They got thrillers, they got, uh, they had paranormal for a while. I, and that might be classified under thriller, I don't know. Um, there was a, there is a series of, of, there's a, um, a subject in Harlequin, uh, that is both romance and, uh, mystery, which is interesting. Uh, you literally have the protagonist who is trying to solve a murder and, of course, he or she is either in law enforcement or they are a person that has some kind of ability, um, that is, hates um, you know, law enforcement. So there, so yeah. What I remember reading back, I think it was the early 2000s, was A Lawman and a Witch, um, or Wiccan. And it was interesting. Um, the, the plot was really good, and the characters were very much, they were not one-dimensional, they were not flat characters. They did have some dimension to them. But the stuff that I'm seeing today is like, okay, what the, what, what, huh, huh, huh? This is like what I would call like the bottom of the garbage can smut. I mean, yeah, they know how to write. And you would not get your book contract if you didn't know at least how to write. Yeah, Jen Alfers, I'm talking about you. Good people who can't fucking read and write. Um, but, <laughs> I had to include them. <laughs> but anyways, uh, so you have top tier smut and you have like bottom of the barrel smut. And I am going to say that I like my Harley Quinn. <laughs> I know, I am a byproduct of, I am an old person, but I love my Harley Quinn. Um, and for that reason, one reason alone, that the authors who write Harlequin romance books are very good at what they do. And it's not like the shit that we have to put up with today and all that. And I just like, I just really like want to shake my head at it. It's like, can you at least, I don't know, write something that is digestible? Like, okay, I, I'm i sorry, but I don't write romance books because I can't write romance books. I'm not going to infect people with my form of romance writing. 
But there are some people out there that seriously need to like not ever read, not ever write anything. Um, but yeah, it's um, it's just a weird, weird thing, and it's like okay, yeah, it's clear you can't write. But romance books are very popular with people that are like a lot older than me and people that grew up in the nineties. Um, I still remember the old Harlequin books, still remember the promotionals and all that jazz. But anyways, I'm getting tired. I'm about ready to go to sleep. But, um, yeah. So I will see you guys around. Bye.